Hello, and welcome to the Service-Based Business Society podcast. I'm your host, Tiffany Ann Botcher. On our weekly episodes, we will dig into everything you need to know about scaling your service-based business without losing sleep. With my experience in creating over seven figures per month and a passion for marketing, finance, and automation, this show will provide tangible tips and techniques for scaling your business. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be a brief but super valuable. And I really want you to think about how this principle or how this theory applies to your business because it applies to every single part of your business. And today we're going to be talking about the value, energy, time triangle. Now, I want you to think about there, there always being three options. You've got, you can have things quickly, you can have things low cost, and you can have things low quality. Or you can have things slowly, high quality, or high cost. So you've got like these, you know, six, six options, basically. But you can only have two of the positives at one time. So I want you to think about, you know, a steak dinner you know, going out to a fancy restaurant with, you know, maybe a three course meal or, you know, the five cent chicken wing. And I want you to really think about, you know, your expectations. So when you go in for that steak dinner, you know that chances are it's going to be a longer meal. Like you're not going in, you're going in to enjoy the experience. So you know that it's going to be expensive. You know that it's going to be high quality and you know that it's not going to be in a rush. But now if you're going to the pub for like 10 cent wings, you know that it's going to be quick, it's going to be cheap, and the quality is going to be low. A lot of the pubs even serve, and I know from my many, many years serving in the pubs while I went to school, that they have regular chicken wings and they have wing night chicken wings. Because when you're going in for wing night, you're going in for cheap wings, grab a drink, quick dinner, and get on with the And so, you know, you often have to balance these three things. It's very unlikely. And if you can think of a situation where you can have all three, I would love to chat about it inside the Facebook community. But, you know, you're not going to have a low cost, high quality, super quick option. And I challenge you if you, I mean, if you think I'm wrong, I'd come to the Facebook community and let's talk about it. Because when we're planning out our business, you have to really decide, you know, are you a luxury provider? Are you a low cost provider? Are you a B provider? Or are you a slower provider? Because chances are you are not going to provide a luxury service super quickly at a low cost. It's a flawed business model. And so, you know, when we're looking at this triangle, we really have to decide what's important to us in our business, what is important to our clients. And often, you know, like if you look at some of the different brands out there, big brands, you have a more luxury option, and then you have a lower cost option. And they operate on two different business models. Where businesses get into trouble is when they try to be luxury providers for low cost. It doesn't work. These are the businesses that go out of business because it's very hard to do. Typically, when people are doing things more quickly, they make more mistakes. And more mistakes doesn't often correspond with that luxury service. So it's important to know and decide where as a business you identify. Because there is no right or wrong answer. You know, McDonald's sells millions of cheeseburgers. And Rolex sells a few watches. But you have to also realize this affects your profit margin. If you sell $1 million sale every year, there is a lot less paperwork, one invoice, one customer to manage than if you sell a million $1 items. Two very different business models. But one of the things I often see as I'm going through this time of year, you know, doing a lot of budgeting, a lot of financial forecasting, planning, these types of things. And we're looking at the year ahead. And when someone says, oh, I want to make $100,000. So then we have to decide, is it that you want to make $100,000? You want your business to to profit $100,000, you want to sell $100,000, you know, what, what are we actually, what is our objective? Because selling $100,000 and profiting $100,000 are two very different things. And so, you know, when we see people shift from, um, you know, maybe they were incorporated or they worked, you know, for, as a job, and then they start their own business, and they're trying to replace their 
paycheck. Super common. I have this discussion all the time. Do a lot of consults for people who are thinking about starting businesses and we're vetting the the idea. We're going through, we're looking at the numbers and we're, we're looking at how much profit does your business need to make in order to be able to afford your salary. And so, you know, it's, it's often really worthwhile. So if you have a business and you sell, um, you know, a hundred thousand dollars, at a 20% profit margin, less your salary, is this enough? Is it, it, does it work? And so, you know, it's really this time of year that we're thinking about projections and revenue and, um, you know, where does your business need to be? Because we need to decide what are we, what are we celebrating at the end of the year? And often if we don't set our objectives, we set our goals, we don't understand what business model we're operating under, we end up just kind of going along day after day. The time passes and nothing nothing much is different. We haven't really identified what business model. Are we a luxury provider? Are we a low cost provider? And, and to be honest, sometimes people think, well, I'm gonna start as a low cost provider and then I'm gonna shift to a luxury provider when I get, you know, when I get going. But one must say, does your marketing, does your brand messaging, does your business processes and your experience does it speak to a luxury service or does it speak to a low cost service? Because if your plan is to start as a low cost service and then transition, well, sometimes everyone that's on your email list is now the wrong client. Your website needs a total refresh. You're like, oh, this email won't work. Like I can't. And, and so, you know, transitioning from one business model to another requires way more planning. It requires a review and, and looking at website email marketing, branding, social media content, anything that you're putting out into the world, does it, which does it align with? Does it align with that luxury service? Does it align with a low cost service? Does it align with speedy service? Does it align with, you know, all of these different options? And so, you know, I, this, like I said, it's going to be a super short episode today, but packed with some seriously valuable punch. I want you to take today's episode. I want you to really think about how it applies to your business. Do you know, are you high cost, low cost, high quality, low quality, a fit like high speed, low speed, and does everything you put out into the world, any kind of marketing, does it align with your business model that has you on target for this year? You've decided where you want to go. I've been talking about it for a week. We know our objective for the year. Now we need to know, does our business model align with that? Everything else aligns with it. Now's the time for change. Well, we are all out of time for today. If you guys have not joined the Service-Based Business Society Facebook community, make sure you head on over to Facebook and we can continue the conversation. Be sure to also follow the show by going to any podcast app and searching Service-Based Business Society, click subscribe, click the fifth star and leave us a written review. Have a great week and we will see you soon.